Hello, developers. Welcome to Tencent RTC's tutorial video. I am Tom, the avatar, powered by Tencent RTC. In the previous tutorial videos, we have already completed the basic calling functionality and information settings. Additionally, the TUI call kit component also supports the floating window feature, which can be enabled by calling the enable float window interface. Now let's go into the iOS project and add a new button to the calling interface. When we click this button, it will open the floating window. Let's name this button enable. Then add a click event to the button and add it to the view. Step two, calling the floating window interface. After adding the button to the view in the event handler for the floating window button, we will call enable float window interface and set the key value to true. Step three, testing the floating window feature. First, click the login button to call the login interface. Now make a, a video and audio call using the official to a call kit demo. Once the call is connected, you can notice that there is no floating window button in the top left corner. Um, after hanging up, click out enable button and initiate another call. This time you can see a small button appearing in the top left corner of the, you know, the call page. Clicking on this button starts the floating window and you can click on the floating window to return to the calling page. That's it. You've successfully integrate the floating window functionality into your call application on iOS. We hope this tutorial is helpful. For more information and resources, visit our official website, trtc.io. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Welcome you guys to subscribe to our channel. Happy coding.